Here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. You know the one thing good about all this rain? It wasn't snow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It would still be digging out. out. Exactly. We picked up two to four inches of uh, rain in most areas. Yeah, it was wicked even with the wind, too. It was terrible. <clears throat> Definitely. And now we've got the mild air for at least a few more hours, but much colder weather is on the way. Let's go down and take a look at live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. The steady heavy rain is moving on out of our area. We still have some off and on drizzle and mist in spots, and we're seeing a little bit of that right now through Tiverton and parts of Aquidneck Island. Bristol's a little damp this morning, crossing the Mount Hope Bridge and into this afternoon. And uh, we still have some steadier rain as you approach uh, Wareham and then points east of that up towards Plymouth, some even moderate rain still falling over parts of the Cape, but this is really the tail end of it. I do expect things to continue to dry out this afternoon, and that's good news for the neighborhoods around the Patuxent River. We saw some minor flooding overnight and now into early this afternoon where the flood stage reached a crest of about 9.77 feet, and as of 11 a.m., it was starting to recede, and I expect that to continue as the well, drier air continues to filter in. Still watching a few sprinkles over down city Providence and an abundance of clouds. Even with that, temperatures are running above average. We're at 48 degrees. We were at 50 earlier this morning. We are going to continue to see those temperatures slowly drop over the next couple of hours. So about 48 right now, Smithfield is really not bad for a December afternoon. Westerly is at 46, 50 in New Bedford, 51 in Plymouth and Boston even up to 50 degrees. Now the winds are really just a fraction of what they were yesterday evening when we saw some gusts up to 50 miles per hour. We're still seeing a south and southeasterly wind at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Winds are going to start to make a shift to the west. That'll be a sign that that storm system is continuing to move on. In fact, the low is just starting to lift through Connecticut and western Massachusetts, and you can see where the steadiest rain continuing to work its way to the east. Also noticing where some snow is moving over parts of the Great Lakes, New York, Pennsylvania getting some snow. We are going to see the drier air arrive out ahead of the, cold of the, the core of the cold, so I don't expect any snow for today, though we may catch a flurry over the next couple of days. There is the chill, and it's headed our way. Tonight, we're going to be all the way down into the 20s for lows, and tomorrow's high only in the low to mid-30s. So enjoy this afternoon with slightly milder temperatures, even though it does stay mostly cloudy. Still forecasting a sprinkle you can say 1, 2 o'clock this afternoon. 5 o'clock in the evening, we're down to 42. And I do expect skies to stay mostly cloudy through the overnight hours. Our future cast shows that. In fact, it also shows one of those flurries or light snow showers trying to work through overnight. I don't expect it to cause any significant problems for tomorrow morning's commute. But there may be a few flakes flying even into the afternoon on Tuesday. And sharply colder temperatures. South coast for this afternoon. Again, temperatures will slowly start to fall. Mostly cloudy westerly at about 46. Coventry's in the mid 40s. Northern suburbs around 45 in Burrowville, 47 in Johnston. And this afternoon, not much change in Seekonk, 48 clouds. Showers continuing to end Westport at about 48 degrees. So tonight down to 25. I've got a flurry for Tuesday and Wednesday with a high of 33 Tuesday and only in the 20s on Wednesday. We're fairly quiet weather-wise through the rest of the work week. Next Sunday, it's still a long ways away, but some of our computer models showing perhaps another storm system trying to work its way up the East Coast. That one at this point could bring rain or snow or perhaps a mix of both. So we'll keep you updated. You can always go to the Pinpoint Weather Station, Cox Digital Cable Channel 125. So yeah, if we were talking snow, we'd be measuring it in feet. I still have the leaves in the driveway. And you yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, thanks, Michelle.